Guys, gals, and fellow general non-conforming pals, welcome back. I'm C2A, and I am just a bit closer to getting monetized. More on that later. So, today is, uh, I think it was day nine, was it? Yeah, day nine of Principles of Music. Uh, we were reviewing a little bit more on chord progressions and using the numbering system for scales in order to find what chord is it. Um, not a whole much to say in lab. A lot of it was mainly review, but what we did go over was how chord progressions are used in commercial music. And we went over some popular chord progressions. So for example, um, dun, 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 dun. one example we have is uh, a one, two, uh, six, five chord progression, which is semi-popular or a slightly more popular variant being, um, or yeah, uh, one, four, five, six is extraordinarily popular and even into uh, certain genres like anime music or um, general video game music typically tends to use a uh, four, five, three, six progression. The main um, part of today was in lab where we had the job of making random numbers, basically from one to seven, picking random numbers and using those random numbers as our chord progression. So um, I actually have a Siri shortcut that does that for me anyway. <laughs> so I ran that um, and it would give me random things. It would give me like awful progressions like a seven, one, two, seven, or, you know, just God awful shit, <laughs> but I would use it. And then we had to write a bass line and then match the, uh, the kick on the, um, the drum section to the bass line. So it's in sync. Um, yeah, not too different from the last lab, but of course going into chord progressions this time and making our own, understanding how they work. Um, and I imagine for students that are extraordinarily new to music creation, music production, this is a very good uh, lab for them, a very good day for them because they get to experiment with uh, what different chord progressions sound like. Um, I suppose for me too, it's pretty good to just, you know, mess around with it and try illegal chord progressions. Be like, hey, what if I did like, um, you know, just a seven, four, six, one, some god awful shit and just, yeah, what happens? And making it somewhat work. One of the worst one I had, I think it was a, ah, that's it. Two, two, seven, one, bad. It did not sound good. It, it didn't sound good at all. <laughs> It's interesting though, it was very interesting. But yeah, primarily um, we're going over just final project stuff, um, talking about Songcraft, which is gonna be the very end, the very last day of class. So uh, what's that? One, two, three, four days from now, um, two classes from now, but four days from now, we will be doing our final exam for the class. And then we'll also be doing Songcraft, which is where we are making a song. Um, and that's gonna be pretty fun. Because using all of the techniques we've learned, we're gonna build a song. Uh, yeah. Tomorrow, I forget exactly what it is, but I know we're going a little bit more over um, harmony. And one of the things we did touch on briefly was how you can borrow chords from the parallel minor. So if you have a, a chord progression going and you wanna steal a chord from not the scale, you can get the parallel minor, which is when you use the same tonic, but you put it in minor instead of major. Um, and you take a random one from that, and that could work. I don't think it's random. That, that doesn't logically make sense, but maybe it does work. But that's, that's what I got written down. Um, I feel like it's specific ones. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, little tips and tricks. We're gonna go over more of that uh, the next class, so. Looking forward to that. But I think that is indeed it. So what was I talking about, about getting monetized? Well, some of you may be familiar with the meme that's popping up about uh, a computer chip. It's really an NE555 uh, timing module. Walking on a breadboard to staying alive. So I made uh, my own variant of it because I saw a bunch of comments saying, why is it not synced? It should be synced. It, it's not synced. And so I made my own version where it's synced and 80,000 views later, and I doubled my subscriber count. We're rocking, as of my last check, 
which was today, it was um, 406 subscribers, which is mad. Within the span of like 10 days, I doubled my subscriber count, which is, wow. A little bit upset was from a stupid meme, but um, it works, you know? <laughs> so actually, let's open up YouTube Analytics right now. Let's check this out. Do, do, do. YouTube Studio. All right, 409 currently. And yeah, just that one meme blew up. Um, absolutely mad. What's it up now? It's at 83.3 thousand views and climbing at a steady rate. Like it's Y equals X. It, it's a stable one-to-one -one rate. It's going. And it's gained me 149 subscribers alone just from that video. And more from just other sources of YouTube recommending me. So that's fun, <laughs> playing the YouTube algorithm. Um, so I expect uh, I'll probably hit 500 within the next month. And once I get the watch time up as well, I'll be eligible for monetization, which would be fun. And then I uh, got to start watching my language. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that'd be very exciting. And if you are coming from the um, computer chip walk into staying alive video, and you happen to stumble upon this video here, thank you. Thank you so much for taking the time to get all the way through the six minute and 50 second mark. So that's pretty nice. Um, yeah. I, I can't think of much else to say though. So that's it. That's what we got looking forward to in the channel. Uh, I'm still working on a few songs, to, still trying to make things go well. But um, yeah, until the next one, I'll see you. I've been C28, you've been you. Take care, God bless, and go, wait a minute. I forgot a segment. If you have any questions or comments, you can put them in the comment section below and I'll respond to them. Now, take care, God bless, and goodbye.